Hi, in today's session, we're going to talk about job scheduler functionality in SAP HANA Cloud. In the very beginning of SAP HANA versions 1.0, we used to have a file called Access Job that can be used to schedule the jobs. And a nice user interface is also provided to monitor the jobs and activations and deactivations also possible uh, within the UI. Later, when we migrate from Access Classic to Access Advanced or Cloud Foundry, a job scheduler service has been provided along with XSJS compatibility for Node.js application. A nice user interface is also provided as part of job scheduler dashboard uh, where you can activate and deactivate the jobs and you can also monitor the jobs uh, to see the logs of the jobs. Now the job scheduler functionality is being provided within SAP HANA core capabilities in opposite to have an explicit Node.js application. So with that, we're going to have a design time artifact created in our project, uh, in our DB module, which defines a job scheduler file with cron job schedule to run at specific interval. And then after deployment of that file, a runtime object is going to be available uh, that will enable the cron job schedule to run periodically um, and we can monitor the job using some SQL statements. And this job scheduler functionality within HANA Cloud doesn't need any external applications as part of uh, scheduling. Let's take a look at uh, how it is done in the system uh, with a ex simple example. I have my business application studio connected to SAP HANA Cloud. Um, and I have a couple of tables created in here. My first table is source, and there is another table target. So in this particular example, what I'm going to do, I create a store procedure that is going to read the data from source table and insert it into the target table. My source table has got some records in it, and at this time, my target table is empty. So I'm going to create a store procedure first that is going to read the data from my source table and insert it into target table. And then, I'm going to call the store processor as part of job scheduler file in, in, in this particular project. After deployment of these files into my HANA cloud, um, the job should call the store processor based on the time that I specified in the cron job. And we're going to monitor the job and see the log or completion of the store processor in the in the table logs. Now let's take a look at how it is done in the system. As I said, I have two tables, source and target. I'm going to create a, a store processor to read the data from my source table and insert it into my target table. So I'm going to put the store processor inside a jobs folder, create a new file, and I'm going to name this as SP job scheduler. And this is going to be of type HTTP procedure. Can copy the code or grab my code from GitHub. It's a simple code. It's not nothing fancy, just um, reading data from one table and inserting into another table. It's going to put this one in my procedure. So I'm not using any default schema, just going to remove it. It's not read only uh, because I'm going to insert the data into another table. That's it. I'm going to deploy the stored procedure. It's being deployed and it's done now. The next step is to create a, a job scheduler file. I can create a file from uh, the project folder menu or I can also go to command palette and and look for create database artifact. And then here I can choose the uh, the database artifact from the list, available list. So it's going to be um, seen as, actually it's called jobs, it's a scheduler job the other way. So I'm going to select that and then provide the name of the um, file. I'm going to call it as daily and say create. It's going to give you some syntax that says the job name and the cron setting. So the year, month, day, and 
however many seconds and, and enable the procedure is going to uh, tell what procedure is going to get called. So I'm going to give the procedure name here. My procedure name I just created is sp underscore chop scheduler. Now I don't have to give the extension here, just that it is it understands the procedure name. I don't have a parameter for this procedure. I'm going to really remove that. Um, and I can adjust my run jobs schedule to run it at a specific interval. I'm going to keep the uh, minute as um, 40 minutes or right now it's 130. So I'm going to put um, it's five hours ahead I need to put. So actually four hours ahead of this time. So I'm going to put the 35 and the hour is going to be five. So it's going to um, get scheduled in um, in five minutes. Or I'm going to just put less than five minutes. It's going to be this one. Save file and then save. I'm going to deploy this file as well. Now. This file has been deployed. Now I'm going to go to the DB Explorer to see the job status or actually the table status. So I'm going to call the DB um, and then I will check the tables first. So this is my local container. I'm going to see how many data records in the target file. The target file is empty and uh, I'm going to check uh, this target file after the store process is run. So I'm going to, uh, how do I check the schedule of the jobs? I'm going to run the M scheduler jobs. This is going to tell me um, the current job. This is my current job that is called daily. Um, you can ignore the job scheduler. That is a previous job that I triggered um, some time ago, uh, but current job is called daily. So you can see this is in status schedule and and supposed to start at 5.30. So it's going to start it in at, at the, uh, the particular job in a minute. And then we can see um, the code inside the stored processor is being executed and the data will be copied over to the target table. So it's the time. I'm going to run um, the, I'm going to check the status of the job again. It's going to say success. And you can see the end time for this is just a um, few seconds off uh, as uh, from the com from the starting time. So I'm going to go back to my other uh, con uh, SQL console and then run this one. So now I can see the four records that are part of source table um, copied or inserted into the target table. So I can confirm that the job is being scheduled uh, which, which triggers the store procedure and store procedure execution has been completed successfully. Hence, um, my job completion completed successfully. Since the scrum job schedule is um, configured as daily, the next schedule is going to be um, uh, for tomorrow. So that's called, you're going to see uh, 10th of, sorry, uh, 1st of October. Uh, at the same time, um, the job is being scheduled. That's all. Uh, yeah, with this uh, new feature in SAP HANA Cloud, uh, the job scheduling can be possible inside SAP HANA. You don't have to explicitly uh, develop or configure a Node.js application with XSJS compatibility or job scheduler service. Um, none of those um, additional activities required to configure a job. So I think this is helpful. Uh, thank you very much. Bye for now.